have to go soon before somebody wrecks this for you. I have to get a babysitter. You. That's the thing. Exactly. Otherwise, it's going to be a spoiler right? situation. And they're a great time to be inside <laughs> going to movies. <laughs> Not a bad time at all to be spending a little time indoors or bundled up if you're going to be outside. But if you do venture outside, some nice photographic opportunities out there, especially toward the Cape. Look at Nauset Light today. Absolutely gorgeous. A little fresh snowfall. The new snow capital of New England, Cape Cod. It'll be the place to watch the snow tomorrow night as well. And this lighthouse beach just below the Chatham Lighthouse. I love seeing snow on the beach personally. I think it's a cool thing. It's more special because it's usually fleeting. Usually the coastline a little bit warmer than those inland areas. And it's not warm anywhere tonight. Temperatures in the teens, even some single digits already starting to show up. We've got that feed of cold air behind this morning's clipper. The next clipper is now moving its way down through Michigan. Doesn't look like much right now, and it won't start to develop until tomorrow afternoon, right near New Jersey, and then it'll be close enough to bring us some snow. So it's bright in the morning. Temperatures, single digits in teens, lots of layers definitely, but it'll be calm. Not a whole lot of wind tomorrow, which will make a nice difference. Filtered sunshine at noon, and then in the afternoon it gets grayer outside. It'll be cold, and we'll watch that developing snow to the south. High temperatures, generally 25 to 30 for the most part across the region. So another very chilly day tomorrow. And here's that clipper. You notice it just starts to fill in as it hits New Jersey. And then around 6 o'clock, 5 to 6 p.m., this is where some snowflakes will start flying here. Now the best chance again is towards southern Connecticut, Rhode Island, and southeastern Massachusetts. Might even get some snowflakes into the Boston area, but I think most of the accumulation will be in southeastern Mass. So again, tomorrow night, we've got some plans, holiday party. There'll be some slick spots on the roads that'll need to be treated, and in some spots, they'll need to be plowed as well. Most of this will be gone by about 1 a.m. So snow totals one to three inches along the south coast and up through Plymouth County up to about the Duxbury area and then a coating to maybe an inch around Boston down toward Providence here. So we'll see some additional snowfall, not a big storm, but enough to make things slick and the plows will be out again toward the Cape. Now the weekend, much quieter, just breezy, some flurries on Saturday. It's going to be a chilly weekend, but if you are traveling, really no major issues. Highs will be in the low 30s both days. If you want to avoid the wind, it'll be much calmer on Sunday. If you're a marathon training for the Boston Marathon, it has begun. Sunday would probably be the more comfortable day with the lack of wind. Now at the slopes, just mid-20s for high temperatures. What do you want? Do you want some fresh snow in the air? Saturday would be the better day, especially Greens and Vermont, as well as the Berkshires. Sunday will feature the lightest winds out there on the slopes. And although it's been quite cold across the Northeast this week, we'll see a little relaxation of that next week. And most of the country will be looking at warmer than average temperatures. That lasts for a while. And then as we move toward Christmas weekend and Christmas week, a lot of cold is going to start building down. It should center on the Midwest. We're going to be in a little battle zone here, and that could introduce a chance of storminess in the Northeast, something we'll have to keep an eye on. Of course, that's still quite a ways out. So we'll keep you updated. Here's the full seven-day outlook. You can see it does get a little more comfortable next week with the upper 30s on Monday. Tuesday, we get into the 40s. South Coast might actually hit 50 with some rain showers. And then the upper 30s on Wednesday. Colder air back in charge for Thursday, which is also the winter solstice. Ah. Liam and Lisa, back to you. Nice. Eric, thank you.